Hello guys, it's Puerto Rican Boy here, and now I'm going to start on an LP on the series Sly Cooper, and this is the Devious Raccoonus, so... This is the PlayStation 3 version from the Sly Collection. Wait. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to start a new file. I read you loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Alright, and this game is... I recommend this game. Wait, <laughs> more text. Things. Must be vertigo or something. <sighs> Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them, and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Yeah, all it is is a shimming or... Wall climbing, whatever it's called. This is the first level, so I expect a lot of tutorials. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams, and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be front. Shut up, Bentley. Seriously. The red door. Where could that be? You have to go through. Because that door is locked, you have to go through the other side. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing it. Yeah, I already know the code. <laughs> yeah, Bentley always tells you the code to these vaults, so nice yeah. Job. You got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Of course you are. Do you need to tell me that? You seriously need to tell me that when there's so much text? Oh, as it is. And now we have a cutscene. raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh, and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. And the gimmick of this intro level is you're being chased by Carmelita, who's a cop. Cops and robbers, you know. And the main theme of the series is stealth and stealing stuff. So of course you're gonna come into dealings with you're gonna have to deal with police. And this is really simple, look at that. She has the worst aiming ever. You shouldn't have any trouble. It's the first level. The four minutes was because of the stupid tutorial. Once again, which is annoying. Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, 
I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Phoebus Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Phoebeus Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, what happened to his mother? Supreme, they never explain Matt it. Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Phoebeus Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was an awesome cutscene. I like how the cutscenes in this game are actually cartoons. It's really cool. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route. And this is our first level, and get ready for more cutscenes. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machine, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. There's nothing really horrifying or terror about it, but I still like it. Alright. Stealthy approach. This is the first real level you get to play. But before you can play, more tutorials! Ugh. Are you serious? No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, that complicates you can only the mission. Climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. Like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Oh my. Yeah, relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what okay. worries me. Wow, that was a stupid thing he just said. And here's another tutorial. Yeah, you have to collect clue bottles and when you... You have to go to vaults to get the clue bottles. And once you do, you get an ability. And these abilities are actually really useful, so I recommend going for them. However, I'm kind of in a rush to do this LP. Because I have not had an easy time filming, so... So I'm in no mood to collect all the clue bottles. Let's go. 
Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close Good to for one, you, Bentley. Want a medal? Fun. Shut up. Ugh. So annoying. Alright, come on. No, what am I going for? I'm not even gonna get to the wall. Oh my god. Shut up, Bentley. Shut up. Looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24 7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, they really like to throw in those tutorials a lot. And it stops the gameplay so much. It's so annoying. But expect it really often in this game. It's They're holding your hand. Jesus Christ. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. There's so many ways to do this a lot better. To do a tutorial without cutting out the action. Because seriously, it really slows down the gameplay. I would have been done with this level now, by now. But no. There's no way to skip it either. I would skip all of them. That's the vault he's talking about. See it? Shut up, Bentley. Just shut up. And you know what? And we're going to continue in part two.